So this is International Credit Union Day. Not a Hallmark card for it, but it really is. And the theme is local service, global reach. It speaks to how each credit union serves a local community. And it's because of that, the local service and communities across the world, that we have a global credit union movement that has now 260 million members strong around the world. And people often wonder, what are some of the differences between banks and credit unions? Well, banks are for-profit. Credit unions, they're non-profit institutions. Banks are no membership required. Credit unions are members only. And banks may offer more services, while credit unions offer more personal service. Joining me on this International Credit Union Day is Joe Noland, the president of Jack's Federal Credit Union. Good to have you here. So the easy answer to the difference between banks and credit unions is basically how they do business. That's right. That's right, Bruce. It's very simple, actually. Credit unions, we're here to serve people. That's it. We're member-owned, and we are here for one reason, to help people. That's it. You know, nobody knows what's going to happen with the economy these days. Yeah. I mean, there's so much fluctuation. But we all have to know how our credit works. And that really starts with our credit scores. You're right. So today is Get Smart About Credit, uh, which is it's a big deal today. And I'll tell you, whether you have good credit or maybe your credit needs a little bit of help, the most important thing is you understand how credit works. And that's the real challenge for a lot of folks right now. You know, and the thing is, people don't know what impacts their credit score. There's so many different things. There's a number of different things that make up what's considered the FICO score, but really it's payment history, length of credit, balances owed, uh, recent activities, and something else is the credit mix that, that people have, credit cards, mortgages, and different things along those lines. Yeah, also the amount of uh, money that you've got on your credit cards, the ratio to your income, all sorts of those factors. You're right. And also, you've got the FICO score. There's also another score that you find out when you go ahead and you apply for a mortgage or even a car loan. You're like, what, well, what's that score? <laughs> Oh, you said beside the FICO score? Yeah. So, uh, yeah well, you know, I, and I actually found out about this when I went to apply for a car loan. I'm like, that's not my FICO score. That's another score. So, you know, sometimes you got to really do, do yeah. your homework and find so, out what's going on. So, so really, so I'm going to go back to the basics in a minute. But so there's, there's the FICO score, which is a, a predictive analysis on a consumer's behavior to, to make the repayments. So if you're applying for a car or you're applying for a mortgage, the way they pull the credit may look different. That may be what you're referring to. Right. So from an overall standpoint, if you use karma.com uh, or something like that, they pull a different score as well. So it really depends on what you're doing. But the most important part is about understanding what impacts your score overall. So whether they're pulling for a car loan or a mortgage loan or a creditkarma.com or whatever you might be using it for, it's the same things are part of the predictive analysis. And it gets back to that payment history and the mix of credit, all those things inside of it that you gotta be careful of. So if your credit score is not where it should be, what should you be doing? You know, there's, there's a number of things, but the two most basic things I would say is pay your bills on time. You've gotta pay your bills because that right there triggers the score system. Uh, and the other one that you mentioned a second ago is, is the utilization of the credit that you have. Uh, I recommend, you know, if you have credit limits, maybe using up to 25%. Because when you use 100% and you're carrying multiple credit balances at 100%, that really blows your score out as well. And here's a novel idea. Maybe use cash. <laughs> that's, that's a good, that makes it a lot easier to manage your credit score as well. I, I do want to say, though, probably the biggest tip I would share with the viewers is this. Check your credit report. It's free. Yeah, and there, there are three credit reports that are available. There are. Um, there's a, there, it's actually a law where the credit bureaus have to provide you, at your request, your annual report. I would say, get it for free, sit down with a highlighter and just mark through it. Mark through what looks strange, what you don't recognize. You may realize you have credit cards right. that you got 10 years ago that, that you don't them, even hey, use. This ain't right. And, and go ahead and say, I want you to check on this That's because right. it's suspect to me. Right. By the way, Jack's Federal is growing. They dedicate their newest branch coming up at 9802 Old Bay Meadows Road today at 11 o'clock. Officially opens for business at noon today. So check them out. Good to have you here. Thank Thanks. you, Bruce. Appreciate it.